Hi guys, it's Purple. I'm back for another episode. And today is very exciting because I'm doing a back to school haul. Not a giveaway. Not a giveaway. It's a haul. All of this stuff I got at Target. Um, some of this stuff I didn't get because either it's not necessary for school, but I like to have it just in case I need it. Or they didn't have it at Target. I'll tell you those things first. I'll go to smallest to biggest. Like my backpack I'll show last and stuff like that. So let's get started. There's like a weird bug on my ceiling. Look at that. Can you see it? Maybe not. It's like right there. If you can even see. Well, okay. Let's get started, but first, I need, oh, that's a spider. I'm going to kill that. I'm going to kill the spider with a fly spotter. Where is the fly spotter? So I have this weird open mouth thing. Fly spotter. No fly spotter. Come on, I need a fly spotter. Um, maybe we don't have a fly spotter. Do we not have a fly Yeah, no, I'll just use the bathroom. <laughs> I'll be back when I'm going to start the haul. Okay, I'm back. And now I'm going to start the haul. I really hope you enjoy the haul because I just hope you like it. And look at that spider, my god. It's like tiny but deadly. <laughs> I'm sure it's not deadly, I just I don't like spiders. Have I told you guys that before? Well if you watch my random facts about me, you you know that. Okay, but let's get started. Oh, and then we get a daddy long legs. Actually, two of them. <laughs> I'm like surprised I'm not dead yet. Nope. Three daddy long legs. Three. <laughs> little, little insane. You know, he's starting to crawl into the light fixture. Into the light fixture. Like, that's insane. But I'm just gonna sit down and hope it doesn't fall on me. Because I, uh, I don't like spiders. Okay. Sorry about that. First thing. First, this is the smallest thing. But it's like the cutest thing. It's a little, little Duke flash drive. I don't know if you can see his eyeballs, but there they are. Um, it's from the Secret Life of Pets. I can actually show you the box that comes in. Secret Life of Pets right there. And here's the box. You can pause and read a little bit about the movie right there. And that's Max on the side. And that's what he looks like in the movie. But I can just show you. Okay, and there we go. And another thing that we might get that's not necessary, but it's, like, needed kind of thing. You know how, like, you don't need, like, it doesn't say on the list that you need index cards, but then you find out that you need index cards for something, you know, because you need to write something down or, like, a sticky note or something, then you don't have them. You know what? I'm just gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm just gonna fight the power of the spider. Okay. Can you? See? Yeah, there it is, right there. Can you? Like right there. It was just in that light fixture, right there. Okay. So I'm taking off the head, and here's the flash drive. It's on the butt. Yeah, so what I was saying is we're going to get a lanyard for it. And if you don't know what that is, um, if you ever seen your teachers, like, 
wear those things. It's almost like a necklace that goes around your neck, but they put like their ID cards on it. It's pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to put this on it because it's, let's be real here. It's like the width of my thumb and the length of my pinky. I mean, that's pretty small. Sorry, I just got to keep looking at that spider. Okay. The next thing I have that's opened is a 180 degree protractor because like a full circle is 180 and half a circle is, I mean, a full circle is 360. Half a circle is 180. And have you noticed, like, I'm just going to do this because I'm going to and I know my face is like very round. Look at that. Okay. Half a circle. Half a circle. Like my face is almost a perfect circle. Like, that's a little creepy. A little creepy. Okay, next thing I got is, I'm not going to tell you yet. I want you to pause the video and leave a comment if you know what this is. I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. It's very sharp. Like, this is like pure metal tip right there. Like, right there. Pure metal. Yeah, it's like not even the pointiest part about this. Actually, the pencil's pointier. I could probably cut myself with this thing. Okay, but now that you've paused the video and left a comment, you... I'm gonna tell you what it is. Alright, it's a compass. Did you know that? Maybe? Maybe not? Well, if you're in sixth grade, you might know. Okay, next thing I've got here, I actually got two packs of these, are some clear, um, repositionable glue sticks, and these are actually new, um, I have two packages of these, it's kind of a random number because they said you need three, but they don't make, like, three packs of glue sticks. So it's kind of pointless. But I guess I got an extra one just in case. And let's be honest, who really uses three glue sticks? You know, are they trying to waste your money? Okay. So I got two packs of those. Oops. Next thing I have is this super foot long, wait, yeah foot long middle ruler this is like also very dangerous like probably like as dangerous as the compass yep fancy metal cork board target ruler you can see like oh that's probably upside down but up and up up and up is actually is their brand and then I've got this super nifty number two 0 0.7 lead mechanical pencils! I cannot ride with wooden pencils. I just fell on the floor. Why? Why? I got two packs of these. Also, another thing that I'm going to get at Staples is some more lead refill packs. Because it's kind of expensive to keep buying the pencils when you only need the lead. And then what I'm also going to get is just probably like a 12 pack of regular wooden pencils. Because you never know when the teacher is just like, I don't care if it's a number two mechanical pencil, you need a wooden one. Because I'm old fashioned and 80 years old. And also I hate like when people borrow these because they'll steal them and I just don't like it. So I have two packs of these and they come with like little erasers little bracers, I like them. Um, I got this big thing. Look at this. It's like Jaina Ooh. The plastic's broken. That's not good. Um, this big ginormous calculator. I mean, look at it. It's scientific. It's, uh, the red thing, whatever those dots mean. 
I'm just gonna uh, take it out of the packaging for you. And ooh, sharp, sharp plastic. Dealing with some you know, very sharp plastic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna go run and get some scissors. I'll I'll be back in a sec. Just wait there, just for a minute. Not even a minute. Just wait. You can wait, right? Okay, I'm I'm going. I told you it wouldn't be long till I got some scissors. Okay, so. I do not want to break this calculator. And surprisingly, it wasn't expensive. It was like twelve dollars. They had like some other ones that were like a hundred and fifty dollars and I'm just like, no. I don't need that. I don't. So I f ooh, finally got it out of the packaging. You know, maybe if I just turn off the solar panel. No. Oh, it does run on battery now. I'm just gonna clear you in. Uh, we're just gonna keep going. Okay, but here's the calculator outside the case. It's blue. Um, if it had it in purple, I would have gotten it in purple. There's a little case, and uh, ooh, there's a little cheat sheet on the back. Cheat sheet. That's gonna be handy. And then this cover doesn't, it's not supposed to go in the back. It's actually when you're not using it to cover the so solar panel. So it's in its case. The case is actually really cool, I like it. Like look at that design. Do you like it? I like it. I'll be back with the next item. Which is going to be this. I like this. I'm going to show this. No, I should probably show this first. My amazing Yobi Caesar. Caesars. <laughs> Scissors. They're blue. Again, if they had it in purple, I would have gotten it in purple, but they only have blue. And blue is the closest color to purple. Kind of. <laughs> and uh, I just realized something. If this is like the first pair of your scissors, how are you supposed to open your scissors without scissors? You know? Do they just want you to suffer? Maybe, maybe not. Um, my mom said actually, you know, we've got some kitty scissors in the house. You can use those. And it's like, my hands cannot fit in those tiny safety scissors. And actually, when I tried to do this haul before, I said, why can't they just invent, like, kid adult scissors, like, safety scissors, but, like, this size? Is that possible? Maybe. Maybe not. Did I just invent something new? Maybe. I hope. Because that'd be awesome. So, got some adult scissors, because I'm an adult. Not really. I'm not even, like, a teenager yet. I'm barely even a tween. <laughs> okay, yeah, oh, maybe not. Nope, I got this. I forgot to show this. I've got some lovely erasers, and I like them because there's our team color there. Purple. Probably, like, save the purple because I don't want to ruin the purple. Like, how adorable is that? Um, and then there's some pencil cap erasers in there. That's also another reason I want to get some pencil win ones so I can put these on. And I don't care if someone steals the wooden ones or these erasers because these are pretty cheap. So, I'm be back with the next thing. And Please tell me that this is like not adorable because this is like so cute. It's a little monster, like 
three ring pencil case so you can put it in your binders. It's just so cute. You've got this zipper on the bottom so you can feed it through there for your big stuff like your scissors and your calculator and your um, compass, uh, not compass, protractor. And then, um, so big stuff in there, basically. And if you have, like, any index cards, post-it notes, put them in here, in the back pocket. And here's the front pocket that you can, like, feed him through. Like, I'm going to feed my monster with, like, glue sticks. And you can put in erasers. It's also good for, um, the compass I showed you. Also, another thing you can put in this pocket, probably, is, like, a ruler, if it'll fit here. I'm going to grab the ruler and see if it'll fit. Cause I hope it does because it's gonna be annoying carrying this thing this is like they might think of it as a weapon because it's metal <laughs> okay looking from the outside I honestly think it's not going to fit like what do you think that's a pretty big difference although I do have an idea Hmm. Well, when I show you the other thing, I'll show you my idea. Yeah, but this is still great for, like, and th this pocket is still great for pencils, glue sticks, erasers, compasses, lead, more pencils, tape, stapler, like a mini stapler. I have a mini stapler. I wonder where it is. It's not in there, wherever it is. So, there's my, my little googly. It says googly, but it's not really googly. Wait, why do these look like Pac-Man? Is that like totally copyright or what? Do you have rights from Pac-Man? Um, this, it literally says... Zip It products are copyrighted. <laughs> yep, so this is copyrighted from Pac-Man. See? I would have, like, never seen that if I didn't hold it up to the camera. But that's a nifty pencil case. Okay, now I'm gonna grab something else. Um, actually, I don't know. This is probably the next small thing. For school are my amazing Hello Kitty limited edition 40th anniversary Beats by Dre's headphones. So you can see right there, and they're real, and they're like really comfy and squishy, and I like them so much. And there's this cord. This cord is detachable, so it's really great headphones. I just hope no one steals them. Like, that would suck. But, uh, as you can see, this part fell apart. <laughs> like, this part's kind of cheap. Like, plastic-y. Like, this is like... I don't know if you can hear that. That's like... Not plastic, but plastic -y. Do you know what I mean? It, yeah. I don't know if you can hear that, but most plastic won't do that. Here, I'll compare the noise, plastic, to metal. Sounds pretty similar. Well, you have to give this, like, some leeway, because it's thin. So I got my headphones. I don't know why you need headphones, especially because it said it on the math list. Like, what in the world do I need headphones for math? But I need some. That's okay. Next thing I have are all these three notebooks. I've got a black comp book. It's basically a college rule notebook with six dollars coupons. This video is actually getting very long, so I hope I'm not boring you to death. I'm trying to speed this up as much as I can, but sorry. Um, 50 cents off glue, 
Um, more glue, some Hanes, stapler, Hello Pandas, some other stuff. There are the Hello Pandas. I love those things. I'll actually use this coupon. Um, that's that one. I've got a blue comp book with more $6 worth of coupons. I have a green comp book. I have a red comp book with more coupons. Like, all of these have no uh, coupons. All the comp books do. This one doesn't have coupons, but I'll show you, you it anyway. It's a keep count and eat a banana with Kevin on it, eating a banana with a top hat. And on the back it says, Le Bodies. It's from Minions, not Despicable Me. Minions, right there, from Illumination. Um, what kind of confuses me with this notebook is Minions takes place in England, not France. This is something that you'd say, like, in France. Or, like, French parts of Canada. Like, because le is the in French. And buddies is just buddies. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's more French than English, if you know what I mean. Okay. All of those are 70-page notebooks. They're all college-ruled, except for the Minions one that is wide-ruled. Don't ask me what the difference is. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna be back in a minute. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. But now we can continue with the haul. So let me just reposition my phone on my lovely Blu-ray player. What should I show next? Well, I showed you all the notebooks, so there's only like four things left to show Okay, I'm back with the things to show you. I'm like all balancing this on my knee, so this is like very risky business here. You know, a little too risky for me. I'm just gonna sit in the bear. Okay, first thing I've got is this lovely blue binder. Again, if they had it in purple, I would have gotten it. I don't know how many times I need to say that. I love purple, it's the best, but blue is the closest I can get to it. So this is a UB, I am other, um, one inch D-ring binder, as you can tell from reading it. Um, I don't know who would want to pause and read this, but if you do, go ahead. <laughs> so this is the D ring, if you don't know what those look like. Just like little Ds. And then it's obviously an inch, but this looks like bigger than an inch. And it's weird because there's like a pocket like there. Maybe you could like shove a pencil in there too. Um, so here... It's the, it says, there's an other in all of us. So, it's basically a bunch of people, and those, I guess, are their other. And then on the other side, it shows, you be, I am other. And here was my idea with the ruler, if you remember. I actually have two ideas. And, you, oop. Ow open up the binder and you see this little hole you just oh that's longer than the binder but I've, I've got a better idea I was probably going to do in the first place is um if I have like a special like math binder because I've probably going to use this for to be real here is shove it oh that's still too big eh it'll ooh I have an idea what if you just like slant it there that could work I think that that'll work for now. For now. Or I could like put it in this like little pocket here because that's like a perfect fit for my ruler. Still a little too big, but it works. Uh, and it doesn't affect the rings at all, because it's like, 
Ooh, like this much thicker. It's like the thickness of my pinky. I mean, not my pinky. That's a little too thick. It's like the thickness of your fingernail. So I've got this one by Yubi. That didn't sound good. I have this yellow binder by Avery. This is a durable binder. And all of these binders that I'm going to show you have a cover so you can put things in like this. I'm going to take this out because it's kind of annoying me. Put it there. Okay. And it, I think this is also a D-ring binder. Maybe. It looks like a D-ring. But, um, again, they have the pockets in here. I'm going to see if the if this is like, is it the same size or is this a little bigger? They're the same size as the UV, so the ruler won't fit in here either. But again, there are pockets, pockets, and pockets. And so that one is yellow. And this one, I'm, I'm still here, I'm just over here. Um, this one is the same thing except it's red Ooh, yep and it's an Avery binder it's the same thing same kind of pockets same kind of rings so yeah and now I'm gonna take out this sheet of paper just stick it in there now I'm gonna get the UV and pull out the paper cuz let's be real who likes the paper and binders I don't like paper on anything. I just don't like paper. So, yep. And the ruler. I'm probably going to take the ruler out. It's kind of silly. Well, if it, like, fit in the binder, it'd be a good idea, but it doesn't. So it's just kind of silly. And it is silly. So, we've reached to almost the end of the video. I know you probably like purple. Hurry this up. It's almost been a half an hour. Hurry up. Where have you been? So now I'm fetching my backpack. And it should be right yeah, here. You're not going to see it yet. What I'm going to do is pause the video and make sure there's nothing in it because I did use this last year. Oops, you just got a little glimpse. Little glimpse. Because it does feel kind of heavy. I know it is a pretty big backpack. It just feels heavier than it should be. Yep, there's a book in there. I feel a book. But yeah, so I'm going to pause the video, see if there's anything inside, and if there is, I'm going to take it out for you so you can see the whole backpack. Okay guys, I cleaned out my backpack and I did actually miss some things um, that I forgot to told you about. Is um, We did get a um, graph paper notebook. Um, I just can't seem to find it. But I just looked at the receipt and I didn't see it on there. Which is very weird. Because I remember we put it in our cart. Maybe you just never made it out of there. And look at my eyebrow action. That's like weird. Look at my got like bushy eyebrows right here. Like thin eyebrows right there. Dark eyebrows right here. Light eyebrows. Okay, it's just weird. Um, yeah, so we did get a graph paper notebook. I just can't seem to find it. And also we did get two boxes of tissues. They're just lotion and, like, ultra soft, which is just some kind of tissue. And before I actually show you the backpack, I want to show you some of the stuff I found inside. Um, I did find a lot of yarn and God's eyes. I was in love with these in fifth grade. Like, they were, like, my best friend. They're awesome. Um, I found some of the Mix by Me Putty. This is my, my color emerald there. Very cheesy name, I know. 
but it like is very emeraldy. I'll try to open it to show you. I'm, I'm still here. I'm just trying to open it. Wait. You know, these things are like hard to open if you don't open them for a while. So sorry, but you can't see it. This is very like shiny green. And I found this like dumb origami thing. Like what the heck is this? Like what was I thinking? The next thing I, ooh, I do actually have. Did you hear that? Yeah, it could have been just the air conditioner. But I have two pens. This is an erasable pen. This is a pen pen. Ah, I, I found these. Guess what's in these? Anybody? No? Um, not actually mints. You can probably hear it. There's like a bunch of change in there, which I'm actually going to keep for myself. So I'm going to put it over here. That's like the garbage. Ooh, I'm not throwing out my flash drive. That's like the garbage pile. Um, I've got a range of mechanical pencil that still works and has like a ton of lead in it, which is amazing. So I'll probably actually like use this mechanical pencil because there's like four pieces of lead in here. So I'm just gonna put the magical tip down because you can do that. And that's also going to go in the safe pile. Um, I have this. This is the mixed by... I don't know why I have all this mixed by me crap in my backpack. Um, this mixed by me putty kit mat thing. Don't ask me why the heck it's in here. It's just the color mixing zone where you like mix the cut... The cutty. The putty. And then you put in like the special effects like... Sparkleizer, glow fire, and shimmerizer. And then this is the decorating zone where you can like come up with names, decorate the cover, which is also a sticker. Yeah, so you can see they did mine. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be. Lily, which is sort of a purple. I did make a purple. I named it Amethyst because I'm boring. And then oops, there's an ocean. My phone is flashing. That's not good. And I'm probably running out of film space on my phone, so I better start uploading this as soon as I finish, which I should probably do in the, in, in the first place. Um, uh, ooh. I've got this little Stormtrooper origami. Not made by me. Not made by me. Not made by me. This is actually the Derpy Goats. I know. Very bad. Very bad. I think like everything is bad like, because my mom is actually an artist so I like 